afternoon ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel, this is Violetron and we're in Scotland. Everybody knows this recognisable bridge, but I forgot the name of it so I'll put it on the screen now. I didn't record any of the video coming up here, reason being because it was motorways for all the way, 260 miles, the last 20 miles to Edinburgh, that was okay roads but it was absolutely nailing it down. So I got up uh, into a campsite for the night and then that was it, I was absolutely knackered. So I ended up going into Edinburgh and going to the places where the Avengers Infinity War was, you know like the, the the certain scenes in um, Avengers Infinity War so we went and checked them out which I'll show you right now that's me sat on a bus believe it or not we're on our way into Edinburgh I'm not took the bike I haven't took the bike the reason being because I've already had three pints of Guinness so I can't take the bike so we're gonna go into Edinburgh while I've got nothing else to do to show you something very special you know what that is ladies and gents? That is where they filmed Infinity War. That's where Vision went straight through the top of the train station roof. Don't ask me whereabouts, because I ain't got a clue. Let's go and try and find where the fight scene was. Well, this is the platform guys where the shot at Infinity War platform 2 vision went through that skylight up there and sliding straight into that railing right there and over the other side is where Captain America stood where he caught the spear and this ladies and gents is where vision and Wanda talk to each other about going back to New York this is the window Wanda puts her hands against to watch that TV with the news of what's happening in New York. So I'm knackered walking down them up those stairs over there. This is where Vision gets stabbed in the back and then ended up fighting down in the train station. Due to copyright reasons I will not be showing parts of that film but it is very interesting I just thought I'd show you a little bit to do with the Marvel movies. We are heading through the Calatagones, Catagones, Calagagone, Calaga, whatever you want to call it. I'll put it up on the screen now through Scotland. We're going to go through there to Inverness. That's where we might be stopping off or we might be carrying on a little bit, depending on how I feel and how long this ride takes. So it's from Edinburgh to Inverness. I'm sure it's 206 miles. I'm 40 miles through that route, so it's about 160 miles left to do. Jesus! Storm's ripped its way through here, isn't it? Scotland's a beautiful place. What I've seen of it so far, anyway. Yeah, last night I got so cold it was unbelievable. I brought the wrong sleeping bag, I think. Never mind, lesson learnt. Super duper over engineered bridge. But it looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> Doing a trip on your own, solo, is actually quite daunting, you know. We have now just entered Perth. We're going to go through this place and hopefully soon we'll be at those really good spots. What a beautiful part of the world, ladies and gents. Absolutely stunning at this place. There's a lot of grit on these roads and things like that. And for some reason, where it's 30 in the UK, nine times out of 10, everywhere's 20 in the villages around here. It's getting a lot more hillier, isn't it? I like it, I like it a lot. Here's a bunch of bikes coming down here. If to sort out the road surface, it'd be amazing this place would. Well it is amazing, what am I on about? I'm just moaning because the road's bumpy. <laughs> Gain a little bit of altitude here, ain't we? <laughs> Perth and Kinross. 
through the woodlands. Whoa, Jesus, all them up like uprooted trees. God, I bet you missed that on the camera, but it was bad. God, imagine living there. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Beautiful. I wouldn't like to go and fetch a bottle of milk, though. <laughs> I'm just going out to get some milk, dear. I'll be back in a week. This road does not look bad at all, does it? A93. This is the road what uh, one of the subscribers mentioned to go down. So thank you very much. I did uh, have a look at it, but Kalimoto and its infinite wisdom decided to take me down some windier roads. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at this place. Hey. Jesus, those mountains in the background, absolutely amazing, absolutely beautiful, I want to live here. We just put them out then, <laughs> man almighty, look at that, it's unbelievable, it really is. I can tell you something, the temperature's dropping now. God almighty! Well, I am the idiot that decided to come here on the 1st of April. <laughs> it's actually the 2nd now, by the way. Wow! Hey! Wow! Insta, put that on. Wow! Speed camera van there, look. Doing his duties, I suppose. In the middle of Scotland, in the absolute middle of nowhere. But there he is. Just sat there. They are absolutely unbelievable. So I'll do 40 mile now instead of that, rather than 60. That way, I know I will not get in trouble. But look at that anyway. At least we slow down to look at this view. It's unbelievable. Jesus Christ. God almighty. And us Brits have got this on our doorsteps. We should be coming here every bloody weekend. If we get this, well, it's a bit far for a weekend. We should be coming here at least twice a year. At least twice a year. And look out for those things in the road those running clouds he's just stood there he's right in the middle of the road can you see him he's around there somewhere what a stunning place see you later oh i'm not going down that hill no chance just met some people here they've been to the lake district and all the way through scotland and this guy's got his own youtube channel as well <laughs> I have actually made a mistake. Last night I was camping and uh, I got extremely cold. I got the wrong sleeping bag. So tonight I decided to get a hotel. I know before anybody says it in the comments. You said you was going to camp. Well, I am camping. I'm just having one night in the hotel so I can get a shower and dry out the tent from last night's little palaver. The sleeping bag I brought, it's a. Uh, two season tent so last night I was absolutely freezing it was ridiculous so cold ridiculously cold plus the uh, air mattress bed thing I brought but the cold was coming through that as well I need a good night's sleep tonight because I've got a lot more miles to do tomorrow we're going to Inverness and I'm gonna zip straight across the Apple Cross that'll be ice I want to stop in Apple Cross camping hopefully and then from Apple Cross I'm going to go down to Fort William and then, I don't know, probably head back down towards the Lake District then. I was going to do the NC500, time schedules, not letting me do it. Yeah, anyway, I've got a Premier in tonight, £71. <laughs> Last night it was only £22 to camp. You could get yourself in a lot of trouble on this road. 
<laughs> but I'm taking it easy because I have seen a speed camera on here already. And a couple of those bikers said uh, there was down here earlier as well, so... I'd rather keep my licence, thank you. But why should we rush anyway? Look at these views, come on. Some right snow on those mountains at the back there. That's if you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up from that far away. 105 miles left to Inverness. An absolutely awesome place. Why haven't I been here before? Oh, here comes the rain. No! <laughs> Damn you! Never mind, I've gone all day without rain. That's an impressive feat in Scotland, I believe. River D. I've got to go through here because I need to get fuel. What an amazing place, eh, ladies and gents? I've still got half a tank, but for some reason, in Yamaha's infinite craziness of a mind, the thought, ah, when it gets to half a tank, it'll just go boom. That's it, instant half a tank. And it seems like the rest goes down a lot, lot quicker. So I never trust it. There we go, look. We found a garage. Oh, please have E5. Please have E5. E10? I don't want E10. I want E5. <sighs> oh well, looks like we're going to have to have E10 today. Sorry, Bessie. E10 for you. Don't be angry. And I believe at this moment is where all the problems started. Keep watching to find out more. Well, it only cost £15 for the uh, fuel that time. We're up there now, aren't we, ladies and gents? Look at this. We are proper, proper rural. <laughs> Normally the rain affects me, and I don't like riding in the rain. But to be fair, I'm kind of getting used to it. <laughs> One absolute epic road trip. Well, they do say in Scotland you get four seasons in one day. Luckily, I've only experienced rain, cloud and sunshine. That's it. I don't want no snow, thank you very much. Look at this. Unbelievable. Just pop into the shop, love. <laughs> well, it says back there, road closed because of weak bridge. I'm just going to take a risk because it's like 97 mile of a ways. And it's really getting on today. Oh, come on. It ain't going to happen, is it? Damn it. We've done some miles today already. the distance there over the back he just been through there himself he said I can get through so let's try it again god it's heavy with all this on Woo! a little bit of off-roading eh this is where I need the Africa twin again which way did he go then oh okay we're going through here then through a building site in the middle of absolute nowhere he crept up on me just I turned the bike around and uh, I was sat there trying to re route a new route. He caught the side of me and scared the life out of me. <laughs> but he said we can get through here, so let's do that. Look at the way that road just bends all the way around there, look. It's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? It really is. Just set up camp there, happy days. I'm the only person around for absolute miles. It's absolutely cracking, love it. A bit of snow on my mountains over there, look. Just endless mountain after mountain after mountain. I'm literally riding on top of all these mountains. Literally on top of all of them. <laughs> it is cold. Oh, it looks like we're going straight into that cloud up there, doesn't it? No! <laughs> now I'm going to get really wet. Still climbing. Climbing, climbing, climbing into the clouds. <laughs> that is literally clouds right in front of us. We are in the clouds. My God. I can touch it, look. <laughs> Touching the clouds. It's kind of eerie. 
but very cool. Happy days. Well, I do believe, ladies and gents, that's the end of the uh, Cataclone Cone. You know what I'm on about, Cato, blah, blah, blah. I'll put it on the screen now. That place. But I must admit, it's probably one of the best rides I've ever done. Bit of David Attenborough on the TV. We can see the bike from here, look. Happy days. Last night, I literally, literally was freezing, freezing unbelievably bad. So, I'm going to dry all the kit out, including all this, because I got absolutely drenched. And then tomorrow, we're going to do the camping. And I need to charge all the stuff as well. All the batteries need to be charged. So, I'm going to do that right now. And if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Ta-da!